How to manually blur and censor part of a video using finger movement or keyframe on Android with Put Mask 8.0. In Put Mask, you can manually blur and censor sections of video using two methods. In this example, we will try to censor a ball with this tool. You can use this tool for anything. We recommend that if you want to censor a face or a car plate, first use the detect and track feature, which is explained in the same playlist. Method one, keyframe. Using the keyframe method, you can easily censor any part of video. First, simply switch to keyframe mode. To do this, click the keyframe button in the main menu. Then click the add filter option to add a yellow filter to the screen. At the bottom of the screen, you can set the duration for which the filter remains visible based on the number of frames. By default, the filter is added for 120 frames. First, select the time interval during which you want the filter to be applied. To do this, go to the frame where you want the filter to start or end, and then click the scissor button followed by the set start here or set finish here button respectively. Using the navigation buttons beside the timeline, you can move frame by frame to ensure you pick exactly the right frame for the start and the end. If you wish to skip more than one frame at a time when clicking these buttons, simply hold down your finger on one of these buttons to determine the frame stepping counts, and then click the select button. Now that you have selected the proper start and end points for the filter, all you need is to add keyframes to the filter. For this, Simply position the filter at your desired location and size on every frame you're on. In doing so, a keyframe is automatically added to the filter. The added keyframes will appear as white and yellow dots on the filter's timeline. In the end, the filter will move at a constant speed between the keyframes you added. If you want to navigate between the keyframes of a filter, simply click the buttons around the filter bar. To delete or change a keyframe, use the keyframe navigation buttons to move to the keyframe you desire, and then click the delete key button to remove it or adjust the filter so that its coordinates and size change for that keyframe. Add as many keyframes as necessary to ensure that your target object is covered at all moments. Congratulations, you have manually managed to cover the desired object. If you prefer that keyframe filters have more or less than 120 frames by default, simply click this setting button in the main menu and change the number 120 to any desired value in the keyframe section. Method two, record. In this method, put mask records the movement of your fingers. In fact, you can use your finger movement to move the filters while video playing. To do this, first click the record button in the main menu to switch to record mode. Initially, define the time interval during which you want the filter to be applied by using the start and finish markers. You can also use the interval buttons to help place the start or finish markers exactly on the frame you are currently on. Here, you can add a filter to the screen by clicking the add filter button we recommend that you add only one filter, as adjusting multiple filters simultaneously can be challenging. You can also adjust the playback speed of the video during recording to reduce errors and more easily position the filter on the target object. To do this, click the speed button and select one of the speeds. Once you're sure everything is set correctly, click the record button. You will be given three seconds to place the filter in the correct position. After that, the video will start playing at the speed you set, and you need to hold the filter on your target object, and if the object moves, adjust the filter by moving your finger accordingly. Do this until you reach the end. The result will appear as a red filter. Congratulations, you have manually tracked and censored your target object. If the result is not satisfactory, do not worry. You can edit all the filters frame by frame in edit mode or convert the green filters for automatic detection or red filters for the record mode in a keyframes. For more information, please refer to the edit section video in this same playlist.
If you have any questions or suggestions, please send an email to support at putmask.com or send a message via our Telegram or X account using the username at putmask.